Welcome! This video is part of the Service Desk Configuration Series, basically showing you how to set up the Service Desk module in your PSA. This video is focused on how to use it, how to create tickets, the multiple ways, how to assign, manage, basically track the entire support process. I've logged into the PSA, I've clicked on Service Desk Module, and we're going to walk through the folders, well most of the folders in this video. There'll be a separate small video about assets and knowledge base and uh, service call. All right, Service Desk Dashboard. Just like a car, when you look down, you can see how fast you're going, or you know, a dashboard, or am I low on fuel, I need to go uh, fill up. This is designed to help you quickly see what's going on in your service desk. So I see, oh, I see one escalated. I better go take a look at that. You can click on any number and then it takes you right to those records. Okay, so that's the service desk dashboard. High level overview and drill down to the tickets that you need to go look at and address. Next folder, my tickets. It's exactly what it is. They're my tickets. I'm logged in as the global admin and these are tickets assigned to me. The default view is anything that is still open. So we consider escalated open, in progress, new. What you won't see are completed tickets. And that makes sense. We don't want to uh, cloud your display with tickets that you've already completed. If you need to, you could use the extensive search grid up top, click completed, hit search, and find the historical tickets if you'd like. Okay, I'm gonna clear my search. So my tickets, you'll find my tickets folder here in the service desk, you'll find it on your home module so you can quickly easily get to your tickets. While you're here, you can also um, use some tools to make it easier to sort through the data. So for example, if you had many, many tickets down here and I wanna just quickly get through to see in progress ones, I can go create what's called a view. I'll click on my status, click on in progress, go over to the view and to the right, hit this little cog and save. And oh, actually I must have done this. Save, boom. It'll take me to the just the in progress. It does the search now already and it saved it. So I'll clear the search. I'll pretend it's Tuesday morning. I walk in, I have a lot of tickets. I take my mouse and slide over and pick one of my pre-built uh, views. Click it, done. It takes me right to the in-progress tickets. So I recommend that you use the search grid and views to save quick searches. To your right, there's a column chooser. So here, I may want something else displayed. So I click the column chooser. On the right, this is what's currently being displayed. On the left, what I can add. So maybe I don't want I don't know. I don't care about the contract. I let the finance people worry about that. I do want the contact name. Okay. And then it puts it at the bottom of your available. I slide it by dragging or using the up arrow and hit save. Now when the screen refreshes next to account, you have contact name. So any one of your team resources can go in and adjust the columns for their user preference. Okay. That's the My Ticket folder. Quickly find tickets, change your display uh, to your liking. The Tickets folder on the left, this is all tickets, not just assigned to the global admin, you know, this person logged in, everybody, Amy, Global, and any queue that you're uh, putting tickets in, tracking tickets by queues. You have the same feature set. You can create views. You can adjust the columns here as well. Okay, good deal. Unknown tickets. Uh, unknown tickets. If you see records here, the count, my account is zero, and yours will be when you first log in, but this has to do with the email parser. In the previous video, we talked about setting up an email parser. It's done in the admin module, service desk folder, and basically what you're doing is giving your PSA permission to look into an inbox, extract the data, and create a ticket in your PSA. Uh, why will we see one, two, three records here? Well, one, if in the CRM you set up an account, ABC Logistics, and you put Pete at ABC Logistics, but not Betty at ABC Logistics. If Betty sends an email in, the system doesn't have her, 
it'll end up in the unknown tickets. You could delete it or you could convert it into a real one. Uh, you may find some spam in here. And again, you could delete it. And then back in your admin module, email parser, you can blacklist keywords or emails. So the goal is to have as little, uh, you know, zero records. So get your contacts for all your customers in the CRM. Don't forget about the email domain. If you set that up, uh, that'll help ensure that tickets are created for your customer base and they don't end up in the unknown tickets. Okay, let's create a ticket. So we know that they're gonna show up on dashboards or the my tickets or the all tickets folder. I'm gonna go create a ticket. There are five ways. One, we click a new ticket button, simple. Two, the email parser we talked about. Three, there's a client access portal available. You can actually, with a few clicks, give your customer access to a simple interface. They log in from their laptop and create tickets that way. Four, there is uh, integration with your uh, PSA and your RMM. So alerts will create tickets here. And the fifth is called recurring. You can schedule future tickets. Not everything is reactionary. You can be proactive and plan and track future enhancements, updates, whatever it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go up to the top and click new ticket. There's the form, uh, red as required. So you can pick from the drop down or you can just start typing. Uh, pick Acme, perfect. Uh, what location are they calling from? They could have a main office or a satellite. And then who's calling? It's Gary. Just a side note, if the contact is not there, you can still open a ticket against a customer um, or you could actually add them on the fly. Okay, pick Gary, it's filled in the phone, email. We set our default when we click a new ticket to phone, but we could change the source. And then we're gonna go in and it's an incident. Gary's calling and it's only affecting him. It's a printer and there's, you can't connect to the network. Sliding up to the right, we'll put a title, printer issue, priority is medium, status is new, and then you put the details. What is wrong? You're talking to Peter on the phone or Gary on the phone. And then assignee. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hit save and not fill in a required field so you can see what happens. And there you get a nice gentle reminder to either uh, add it to a queue, a folder, or directly to a technician. So I'm going to assign it to uh, uh, myself and then hit save. It's that easy. So uh, not that many fields. Uh, log in the customer, the account, excuse me, the contact, and through the drop downs, fill in the issues and the priorities and assign it. Very easy to do. So now my dashboard is up to date. I have four created tickets today. You know, all the metrics, my tickets. Now I have another one assigned to me. There it is, the printer issue. Uh, the SLA, I need to resolve this by tomorrow at a certain time. The all tickets folder is up to date. So easy way to create tickets, track and manage. Okay, um, let me quickly show you recurring. Uh, recurring is again, if you wanna be proactive, you hit new, you fill in the title. So, you know, like maybe monthly tune up, backup, whatever. You pick the account, uh, contact, fill in the issue type, everything. I recommend creating a queue called scheduled maintenance. That way, if you go create this ticket, you create 12 in the future, they're all in a nice folder so you can quickly manage them and then suggest a workflow rule that says, hey, if ticket is new and sitting in a queue called schedule maintenance, seven days before the due date, send an email out to the team. Okay, great. Uh, recap, module service desk used to manage all your tickets, quickly go to your tickets, the tickets folder is all tickets in the system assigned to anybody, uh, any queues. Uh, this is unknown. You may see some items in here that there's ways to control it. So we want that to stay to zero or very low. And uh, your customers can call in, use the portal, send an email. Um, and you can also integrate with your RMM.